In my last video, I discussed about heart rate pumping and blood oxygen measurement in the body. I also explained how the blood oxygen and heart rate is measured using the pulse oximeter. I used a sensor called MAX30100 from Maxim Semiconductor. I then interfaced the sensor with Arduino and measured the heart rate and SpO2. But today I am back with the advanced version of the project. Today we will make IoT-based smart blood oxygen and heart rate monitoring. For this we will interface the MAX30100 pulse oximeter with node MCU board. We will display the values on OLED. And using IoT Wi-Fi cloud service we will send the data to Blink application. Using the Blink application the patient health can be monitored from anywhere in the world. And later we will make a portable version of this device using the PCB board from Next PCB and test the device working. So, the official sponsor of this video is Next PCB. Next PCB is one of the largest PCB prototype enterprise in China. They offer high quality multiple application PCBs at very reasonable price. They are a high tech manufacturer specializing in quick PCB prototype and small batch PCB production. They have large scale assembly unit with advanced and equipment, strict management and superior quality. If it's your first order you will get discount, the discount code and Gerber file link is given in description. But now let's get with started with the project. We will again use the same pulse oximeter sensor that is MAX30100. If you want to learn more about this sensor, please watch the previous video. So here is the circuit diagram and connection. Both the OLED display and MAX30100 has I2C pins. So the SCL and SDA pins are connected to D2 and D1 of node MCU. Connect the interrupt pin of pulse oximeter sensor to D0 pin of node MCU. Supply 3.3V to OLED and MAX30100 through 3.3V pin of node MCU. So here is the assembly unit. I assembled the circuit on breadboard. So, you can see the OLED display, also the pulse oximeter sensor and the node MCU board here. The connections are lesser and fairly simple. Now let us see the code now. First you need to install few libraries. Since I am using Blink Android app to monitor data, so I installed Blink library. I installed few OLED libraries too. Get this Blink authentication token from Blink app. Change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. This character is for displaying heart sign in OLED screen. Rest of the code is similar to the last one. We are reading interrupt and measuring the BPM and SPO2 value. We are also sending this value to Blink app via this line in the code. I used V7 and V8 virtual pin. Now simply select the correct board and the port. Then compile the code and upload it to Node MCU. Once the code is uploaded, the OLED will show initializing till it connects to the Wi-Fi network. And soon it starts showing the BPM and SPO2 value as zero. Now you can put your fingertip at the top of the LEDs of pulse oximeter sensor. So OLED will display your pulse rate and blood oxygen percentage. Now open your serial monitor. You will see the BPM and SPO2 value getting displayed initially as zero. Now you can put your finger and check the values of BPM and SPO2. Also the same data can be viewed in Blink application, both in numeric values and in gauge. The method for configuring and setting up the Blink app is given in the website of HowTo Electronics. You can check and learn how to configure. So here you can see how beautifully the data is displayed quickly within a second. The values are fluctuating because I didn't put my finger properly on pulse oximeter sensor. To get stable value place your fingertip properly. So this is an amazing way to monitor the pulse rate and blood oxygen percentage from any part of the world. I wanted to make a portable device. So I decided to make a PCB. So I used Easy EDA for designing the schematic. I then converted the schematic to PCB. The PCB is small and well managed. I generated the Gerber file and saved it on my desktop. Then I visited Next PCB website to order the PCB. I filled the details of the quantity, size, type of material and all other details that you can see here. Then I selected the country and address for shipping. I uploaded the Gerber file and submitted the order. Well that's it, it's super easy. 
After 4 days I got the PCB from next PCB. So, here you can see, the PCB quality is superb and best. I got the best quality PCB, little more than I expected. I then soldered the female headers and inserted the components into it. I connected the micro USB cable to power up the entire circuit. So, now the device is powered up. Now you can place your finger and check the BPM and SPO2 value. Check the values on Bleencap as well. Thank you for watching.